Welcome! In this series of videos, you will learn how to make a simple game using Zojo. The game is called Asteroid Run, and Zojo is the tool. It's a rapid application development tool, which you can download and try for free. Head over here to zojo.com, grab the version you need for Mac, Windows, or Linux, run the installer, get it all set up, shouldn't take very long, and then once you run it, you'll be shown the project chooser window, and you're going to create a desktop project. So give it the name Asteroid Run, and click OK to open the Zojo workspace window where you'll begin to work on your game. Alright, if you want, you can give your uh, main window a title. So you can just call it Asteroid Run. Now this game is going to be pretty simple. It's going to have some asteroids that kind of fall from the top of the screen. And you're going to have a spaceship at the bottom that will get to shoot them down. So a game typically is going to have a button to start the game. So here I'm adding a button to Zojo. I'm going to call it Start Game. And then the rest of the game is just going to be graphics, really. So I'm going to add a canvas to the window. And this is going to have all the graphics that are drawn for the game. So I'm going to make it use up the rest of the space that's available. And I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to call it Game Canvas. You can end up referring to this in code in a few places. And it's good to give it a nice name that's easy to remember. Now I'm going to add a method to the window. And a method is essentially a place to put your code. And this method I'm going to call setup game, and it's going to essentially initialize things to start a new game. Now the first thing we want to do in our initial setup of the asteroid run game here is we're going to have a star field, a scrolling star field in the background. So I've created a property called star field and given it the type picture. And in setup game, I'm creating a picture. I'm setting it to black for a black space background. And then I'm setting the color, the drawing color to white. And then I'm going to draw 500 points on this black background to simulate a star field. And that's what the for loop does. And it just randomly sticks the points. All right, now I'm going to switch to the library, and I'm going to add a timer. This timer on the window is going to run periodically and primarily be responsible for controlling the movement of things and then telling the canvas to update and essentially draw. And it'll draw whatever it is we happen to tell it to draw. So the timer is going to have a period of 10 milliseconds, and we want the mode to be off. And then we're going to add the action event handler to the timer. So I'll come up here, click event handler set its action and this is the code that is actually going to adjust the star field's position so this code has a counter and uses that to adjust the y coordinate of the star field and you can think of this as almost being like you can picture the star field as a piece of paper behind all the things we're going to draw and we're just sliding it up the screen to give the effect of it scrolling Now I can add the paint event handler to the canvas. This is where all the drawing occurs. So here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the star field. It'll be drawn at the position that we're tracking, and that is being stored in the property called star field Y. And that means we actually need to create this star field Y property. So I'm going to add that. Now back in the timer's action event, I can actually tell the canvas to draw. And I do that by calling the invalidate method. And in the setup game method, I can add the code to actually 
tell the timer to start working. So I'll set it to run repeatedly, that's mode multiple, and I'll set the period to 10 milliseconds, and then turn the timer on by setting it's enabled to true. Now I can put the code in the start game button, which I will rename to start game button, add its action event handler, and here I can call the method that will do all the game setup. Quick save of the project is always a good idea at this point. Now you can click the run button. This will quickly run the project for you. You'll get the window on the screen. You click the start game button. That causes the canvas to appear. Everything is now functional. You can see the star field is scrolling. And you have the first steps in creating Asteroid Run done. Last little thing here is turn off a couple properties to prevent the window from resizing. Continue on to part two to see how to add the spaceships. Mm -hmm.